have those moments that just stick out in your mind? Those ones that just stay with you forever. When I was a kid, I was told, you are what you do. So choose wisely. And I tried to choose doctor, but that didn't take. I can still hear him. You know, this, this just isn't for you. But I knew what they meant. This just isn't you. It's probably not a problem for you, is it, buddy? Chomper, world's best pup and friend. Chaser of squirrels, smeller of city streets, and chewer of literally everything. <laughs> See, you know exactly who you are. Oh, I wish I could say the same. I probably should have had a backup plan, huh? Guess I haven't exactly made the best decisions lately. <laughs> Except for adopting you, of course. Thought you had been pretty lost. And I sure as hell wouldn't be out on this road in the middle of nowhere, Alaska. But we needed a fresh start, and I've dreamed of dog sledding since I was a kid. Marco made the races sound incredible. And from how you've dragged me up and down the streets of San Francisco, I think you have dog racing dreams too. Well, let's go assemble us a team, huh, Chomper? We need four more pups to start training. Oh, hey, we just passed mile marker 32. So the ad said that just after the mile marker, there'd be a kennel with a dog sledding veteran we could adopt. Figure we can check out the pup, maybe add some experience to our team. What do you think? Let's find someone that compliments your squirrel hunting obsessions. Maybe a calmer pup? You look like a force to be reckoned with. Gale, is it? I don't think you'll be needing much motivation. You might need more than a nudge in the right direction, but looks like you'll set your sights on a destination and get there. I'll probably have to make sure you take some time to rest so we can keep this energy up. You really want that window open. Do you always need the wind in your fur? Yeah, it can be hard to be cooped up. Did you know you're about to venture into the vast expanse of the Alaskan wilderness? Yeah, who knows what's out there. Snow, for sure. And plenty of running. But I'm sure we'll be surprised by what we find. That's what adventure's all about. Do you think you're ready for that, girl? You're the first one on our team. Well, you and Chomper. I may need to get someone to keep you both in line. <laughs> I can't wait to just let you loose and pull us along. It's easy to tell that's your true calling. Get you in your element, never let that wind leave your fur. It's just a few more miles to our next stop. We're looking for three more pups to fill out our team and help us get to our new home. Oh, you're not a small fella, are you? They said you were big, but you're gonna make Chomper look like he was mixed with a corgi. You're actually kind of intimidating. Okay, it sounds like you've gotten into a few fights out there in the wilderness, and that you always stuck by your musher's side, but they were afraid you would jump into a fight you couldn't win. But now you've become restless, being stuck back in the kennel, howling at night for the wild you can't get to. Well, we're hopefully going to have a nice training run out to a new home, We'll see plenty of wild things, I'm sure. And I'd like to avoid the fights I can't win, too. I think this could be good. For both of us. All right. What do you think? I'm not really sure why they call you Barkley. You haven't made a single sound since I met you. Should we give you a new name? Something that reflects your quiet nature? Snoozer is definitely a better fit. Okay, so uh, not quiet, just one to pick your moments. I will make sure to listen. So let's keep Barkley then. I'm not sure if I'm picking you based on your skills or just because I can't pass up a pup, but I am very excited about this team we've put together. 
We have six stops to go, and we only need to adopt two more dogs. Noodle, huh? <laughs> I can see that. I said running alone wasn't enough for you. You were looking for some kind of challenge and a musher who would listen to you too. Well, I don't really know what I'm doing, so uh, having some help out there might be nice. Are you ready for the retired life? Or are you just waiting for someone to believe in you again? Just know that I still have to make the calls and try to do what's best for us. Will that work for you? Ready to go meet the rest of the new team? Well, welcome to the van. This is Chomper. He's a city pup, but he's ready to get out there and learn how to become a sled dog. It sounds like you weren't too big a fan of indecision last time you raced. And that I should trust you when I'm not sure what's best. How about I take the lead on most decisions, but if I'm unsure, you can help me out. But you can't just lay down in the middle of the trail, okay? We've got a new life to start. And once we're home, I'll build you a nice little den with a perfect nap zone. How's that sound? <laughs> All right, you're right. Rest up. We've got plenty of running ahead of us. This is going so well. well we've adopted every pup we've met so far, and we have five more stops to find our final team. Hey, girl. Are you Finn? Quite the uh, collection you've gathered here. Are these all things you found? They said you're pretty good with your nose. You tend to follow that more than anything else. Sometimes that led you to good things. Sometimes it led you to skunks. <laughs> your owners got tired of skunks, huh? Well, I don't really know my way out there. We might need some help to find more than just the trail. And while you might not be the best at running, it'd be great to have some help to know what to do. There's a lot I don't know about the Alaskan bush. And it's probably important that I try to recognize that I don't know what I don't know. <laughs> okay, Finn. Seems like we could use a smart dog with a nose for the trail on our team. We'd love to have you, Finn. Hey, team. I'd like to introduce you all to Finn. Finn comes to us. Well, from the Alaskan bush, just like many of you do, except for you, Chopper. So Finn, you like collecting things, huh? Chopper's the same. Every morning I wake up and he's piled all my shoes in my bed and is using them as a pillow. It's probably not quite the same. Your family said you'd never come back in from walks. You're always yearning to discover more out there. But you had a tendency to not know when you should stop and take a break. You'd just push and find yourself too tired to get back easily. That sounds like we'll have the right kind of adventures then. We're gonna keep going and rest along the way to, well, wherever. We'll probably have to make some decisions we don't want to, but that's how we find out what we truly are. Jumper, you approve? We're happy to have you, Finn. Oh, you're right. <laughs> We're nearly at the next stop. Thanks. Y you mind if I give you a pet? Okay, well, that's pretty good. Maybe we'll get to a pet eventually, but I will accept a cautious sniff. Hey, Chomper, you have to take it slow too, okay? She's not ready for you, your lack of personal boundaries. I think I fell in love with every dog I met. I mean, who could pass up a dog that's ready for a new home? A new adventure? I can't believe it. We're really about to do this. We've got an incredible team here, and all that's left for us is to head out to our new home. I can't believe we made it to Alaska Chomper. Margo said to travel to the end of the road, and then hop on the sled, and travel a few days more. We'd know her cabin by the red lantern hanging by the door, 
And she gave us this map. It's, uh, not as helpful as I'd like. But it'll get us there. We just have to pick our path. So, you're gonna have to take the lead. It's a lot of responsibility looking out for a team, but I think you're ready for it. You ready to find our new home? <laughs> yeah, me too. All right, let's make sure we have what we need. We've got our team. Barkley, Gale, Finn, Noodle, and the sled is all ready to go. We've packed the bare essentials to get us started, but we're gonna have to live off the land once we get to our cabin, so we might as well start training for that now too, right? Two pieces of raw meat. Well, you pups can handle the uncooked raw and cold food. The kind we'll also find on the trail. But I'm gonna have to cook that up if I don't want to freeze my insides. Hypothermia is not something I'm looking to try. We'll be able to set up camp once we get properly out on the trail. I scrounged up this old gun and a couple of bullets. Just in case. So we'll make do with what we have. We can use them to hunt or keep them around in case we need to protect ourselves. It is the wilderness, after all. You know, bears, moose, wolves, skunks. Oh, and most importantly, we've got one med pack. I should be able to bandage us up if something happens. Okay, well, I guess we should start. What do they say again? Uh, mush on. Now here, we don't say left and right. We use ha for left and g for right. So, let's go. G! Did you really have to run away after I hit you? I could have tried again if you'd stayed here. You know, put you out of your misery, I guess. But... I'm here to finish what I started. And if I find you again, I plan to. You pups do okay? Okay, at least we've got two bullets. Let's be safe out there. Scared? What is that? This shot should be a gimme. Sheesh, you're smaller than I thought. That was worth it. It's 
some more food. This is our last bullet. At least we've already got some food. I think we're done here. Let's go. I guess I'm gonna have to get used to eating all the parts I never wanted to. Who would have thought I'd expand my palate out here? Well, besides the meat, or the side of meat, and a news bouche of meat. But we'll eat what we can get, right? And while I don't think I'll ever get used to killing my own food, I can do my best to make sure I make the most of each animal. Let's take a break. Looks like we found some birch trees. I need you to start fires. <sighs> that was more work than it should have been. Let's get back to it. Okay, I'm back. This birch will really help. Let's get back out there. Let's set up camp as soon as we can. Let's take a break. We uh, set up a pretty good camp. We've got our meat all strung up to be out of reach of bears. And we can make a fire. It'll be nice to cook up some food or warm my bones. And of course, I can check on all of you. Ready for pets, Barkley? Hi, <laughs> Noodle. This is feeling more exciting to you. Yeah, okay, let's just get some scratches in. Right, I'm just here to pet you. Understood. A fire would be nice. At least I'm well practiced in fire starting. Maybe we should eat. I'm ready to cook some food. I'm ready to cook some food. Food time! Chow down, pups. It's okay. You don't have to be the petting type. You barely know me. But I think you'll grow to like me. I already like you. Let's just take it slow and we'll find ways to show we trust one another. Maybe a bit of a massage. Keep you loose for the trail. Might be time to get some rest. I'm sure my stomach will be grumbling by morning, but the dogs will be energized. Well, should we go to sleep? Get back on the trail? Ready to go? Hey, 
Those look like birch up ahead. We could use those to start a fire. We don't have time for wood. We'll be okay. Hmm. Let's go... No, Chopper, I don't think you can jump that high. What do you pups think? You know these woods. Is it worth following? Follow it is. You're a lot bigger than I expected. I heard it's illegal to shoot a bald eagle. Do you know if that's true? I know you used to be endangered. Huh. So, uh, know any good places to eat around here? Okay, then. I probably shouldn't give into your prey drive, but this seriously helps our lack of bullets situation. So we're gonna have so much future training to do, buddy. Okay, you feeling energized? Let's get back on track. Thanks for waiting, pups. Ready to go? Don't see it, Chomper. I know you love them, but just try to ignore it. He sees it. See? He's just living his life. Uh, he seems unperturbed by us, pups. Chomper, you, on the other hand, seem very perturbed. Is this your nemesis? Wait, did it just wink? Oh. Oh, no. Chomper, you downed it in one gulp! Okay, fine, I'm proud of you. Now let's take that full belly back on the trail. Come on. You pups do okay? Let's get back out there. Fork in the road, or two. trigger. Ah, I hit it! Oh, come on, fall, please. That was my last bullet. And it's still fine. Great. I guess someone else will get a nice meal later. Thanks for waiting, pups. We're out of bullets. Let's go, Chomper. Is exactly what we need. Leave it. Let's go. Hmm. Let's go. Gee! You know, we're actually doing pretty well. I mean, we're still alive. And we're getting closer to our new home. You know, just have to make it past some more trees, and snow, probably some more snow. And then we'll be there. You pups look like an incredible team. You even move as one. I am very impressed with your sled dog instincts. Chomper, you've truly unlocked your prey drive. We might already be out of food, but 
I I'm sure we'll be fine. And we probably don't need any more bullets. I think somebody hit bullets out here, right? And it's been really nice not seeing any other people. It's just us in the world. I didn't expect to talk out loud, but I think Margo would be proud. I still can't believe she gave us her old cabin and, and gear. We're making progress. We should be there soon enough. Oh, there's an owl somewhere nearby. Not an owl! I don't think I like moose or owls. I think I just have to risk the bad luck. Let's go, Chomper. Now what? Jay! I thought things were going to plan. I really did, but now... I'm not so sure. The moose rushed right at us. We only barely made it out okay. This might be too much for us, but how do you know when something is actually for you? We'll prove we can handle anything. Look at what we've already done. Let's go. Gee! I'm, um, I'm feeling a little weak, pups. It's getting dark, right? I'll just rest my eyes. Keep on running, pups. Ah! Ah. A nightmare. Okay, well, at least I have an idea of what could happen to me out there. Oh, God. Yeah, we, uh, we really need to take care of ourselves out there. We've got a lot of stomachs to think about. I can't take care of you if I don't have the strength to keep my eyes open. We have to plan ahead. Are we ready for this? I know what to be wary of. What do you say? 